Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna call 100 um, final expense leads. These are age leads. So for those of you who are not familiar with it, it's um, leads that are anywhere from um, months prior to let's say a few days before the current day. So they're not like instant leads. Um, so I know that most of these leads would probably have final expense insurance already, but I'm gonna call them anyway because um, currently I'm living paycheck to paycheck, so I don't have a lot of capital to invest in a lot of leads. So I'm just working with what I have and just hope for the best. Um, I have another video um, coming up that will talk about my experience door knocking. So what I initially did was that um, I did not call the leads, but I just went ahead and door knocked with a few leads. And so when I realized that, okay, this is going to take a lot of gas and a lot of mileage and all that, I was like, let me just come back and go through the leads and see if I'm able to get any appointments. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, currently it is 7.04 p.m. I wanted to do this earlier in the day, but a lot happened today, um, and I wasn't feeling so well, so anyway. I'm going to try to get through these as fast as I can, um, but just bear with me because I'm not an expert at this at all. I'm very new to this whole insurance thing, so if I'm not able to um, handle objections properly, forgive me, but I'm going to do my best. Um... Anyway, a few things that helped me to get ready for this is my script. I have my script in front of me. I also have this website called fastpeoplesearch.com and it basically is a free lookup tool for, um, I'm already feeling out of breath just thinking about this whole thing. I'm, I'm so nervous right now, but um, fast people search is like a free lookup for people's contact information such as their phone number and their address and it's pretty accurate most of the time so I'm going to use that as well <sighs> okay it's been a long time coming I need to get this done so I'm recording this on my camera I don't know how long this is gonna the battery is gonna last for so I'm gonna just do my best if it runs out I'll probably just stop the video stop the calls and recharge and hold on okay I need a minute this is nerve-wracking like just calling random people and anyway Lord help me all right so first caller let's see all right so let's do Nancy I'm gonna put it on speaker so you can hear it. Oh, I'm to send me. How can I help you? Hi, can I speak to? Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. That was weird. So I called this individual um, called Nancy, but the caller ID that popped up was for a local business. So I'm going to use Fast People Search to see if um, they have a, another number on there. Welcome to the insurance industry, you guys. It, it really doesn't matter sometimes like how much money you pay for leads some of these are just poor leads and I think that some people just don't like to put their actual numbers on whatever form they fill out so they just use any random number yeah okay Let's see this one And that's why I asked for Nancy when because um it was a business that that answered so I just had to make sure that I had the right person but I didn't. All right, let's try this number from fastpeoplesearch.com.
Assessment Automatic Voice Message System. Four, two, three. All right, moving on to the next person. Um, so I was told by my upline not to leave voicemails. I'm not exactly sure why, but I'll just take his word for it for now. I'm guessing it's because they don't want you to waste too much time like um, on a lead, especially if you have so many to get through. All right, next person. Please leave your message for four zero seven three three. This is interesting. All right, I'm gonna search again to see if they have another number. Okay. All right, so it's giving me a different number for this person. Let's try that one. The only reason why I'm double checking the numbers is because I actually paid for these leads. They're not free, so I'm going to exhaust them as much as possible and just, um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. All right. Okay, moving on. See, this is why you, you have to use these sites to look up contact information because the previous number just went straight to voicemail, if I remember correctly, but this one actually rang. So I think it'll be a great tool for you if your contacts aren't answering or there's an issue with their number. Because the reality is that some of the some of these lead age with some of these age leads, um, they were filled out the forms were filled out so long ago that maybe their numbers just changed within that time frame. So, oh, I forgot something. So, um, in one of my training videos, I was told to call the number twice. I just remembered. Sorry. So I'm gonna call the number twice and. Um, I think the reason behind that is that if it was a scam call or anything, they might just call once, but if it's an important call, if they see the call coming in the second time, they might answer. So let me try that and see if it works. Please leave your message for 407. They sent me the voicemail. Oh Lord. Okay. We're gonna keep going. This is so much fun. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Walter? Sorry, my my husband is no longer in this earth. Oh goodness, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yes, thank oh, you, Lord. thank you for the, thank you for the call. Yes, ma'am, I'm so sorry. You take care, okay? You as well. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. of situations at all because it's like what what do you say to someone who just lost who just lost their loved one I mean this person filled out the form just a few weeks ago wow. that's crazy that is so crazy 
Okay. This is why this business is so important. This is exactly why, because some people, you just never know when they're gonna go. So this insurance, this final expense business is so important. Oh Lord. Just pray that God comforts that, that lady. Yeah, but let me move on to the next lead. Oh, it says invalid number, so I'm just going to double check their information. So this contact, um, it shows that their address shows that they're in a different city now. Um, but I'm just gonna try anyway, and we'll see what happens. This is Akosia, um, but you can call me AK. I'm the field underwriter assigned to your area. And I was just getting back to you regarding the request you sent in for the final expense program. Um, that was for the burial and, and final expense. So the I'm not dead yet. I'm sorry? <laughs> I'm not dead yet. I'm sorry, say that one more time. I, I can't hear you properly. I am not dead. Oh, no, Still no, alive. sir. So this coverage is basically for when when you're alive um you know funeral funeral costs are up to like ten thousand dollars i don't go to funerals I, i've never been the last funeral i went to was my dad's about 50 years ago that's it got you i understand uh, so let me let me quickly the... explain to you what yeah. this is um but first of all let me confirm your information so i have your date of birth Yes, sir. So the final expense coverage is basically for people um, to take care for their family members to be able to afford their funeral costs at the end of the person's life. So I don't give a funeral. It cost me seven hundred bucks to go and get cremated in Saint Cloud. It's so easy. Yes, sir. So funeral costs are up to so ten thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. No, my wife has already got the cost for cremating me it's already done seen to but thank you for calling anyway. okay and was that for Have just her or you sir what was that for all just us, all of us are going up to heaven we're not going to the worms that's for sure <laughs> got you yes sir i'm a i'm a believer as well um oh, so are you getting buried are you getting buried with the worms and all that creepy things and just let your bones disintegrate or just let your soul go straight away to heaven Got you. Yes, sir. So does your, is it just your wife? Listen, yes, sir. This is my father-in-law, my, my father-in-law was a, a great old gen. He says he didn't want the burden of him being buried. And then every Sunday or every birthday or every anniversary, his wife coming and crying over the grave and spending money on flowers that fade and all that stuff. He didn't want any of that. Why would anyone want that? You don't, when you're dead and buried, you don't want your family crying on your grave or whatever. You don't want that. You don't want the burden on them to keep coming and, and grieving. It's renewing a death every time they come to your grave. They cry and, they, you know, love. It, it, people don't want that. Or I don't want that for any of my family. I want them to be free. My spirit's gone and they're free. Remember me how I was, not in the grave. <laughs> Got <laughs> like you. The worms crawling through my eye socket. Got you. No, thanks for calling anyway. Yes, yeah, sir, but going. before I go, last thing. Is it just yeah. your wife that's covered or your entire family is? Because what I also do I've is that... I've only, got, I've only got my wife. What about you, sir? So none, the... of them are being, none of them are being buried. Yes, sir. So being covered, being covered for what? Yes, sir. So I offer different services. Um, so one was the burial, but another is the cremation as well. So I was uh, calling... It? So how it depends it? on the person. Um, so just we have... Depends on the size of the person. If it's a big person, no, no, no. Like, let's say health conditions, their age, things like that. It's Nobody nothing. Dead. I'm dead. How much would it cost me to get cremated with you? I'm dead. So some of our coverages be can be as low as.
I've got money. I want you to pay monthly to pay in the ass there. Okay. Gotcha, sir. Um, do you have a do you have a family with kids or is just your wife right now? No, I've got a son. Okay. Uh, well, sorry, no, I've got a daughter now. Okay. She's transgendering, and then I've got a he's thirty. Okay. And then I've got a daughter who's in. Uh, she's got a fantastic job, a high tech job in uh, San um, San Antonio, Texas. Oh, okay. They're, they're being cremated. They're all taken care of. Oh, that's They'll wonderful. Be rich. Everyone will be rich when I die. Okay, so you do have a coverage in place for them to leave no. something behind for them? No. Nope. Okay. Plenty left behind for them. All right, yeah, so yes, sir. So I can stop by so we can go over the options and see what you qualify for. It'll just take a few minutes and it's I no don't obligation. For anything. I don't qualify for anything. I, actually, I have I work with several carriers who are guaranteed issue. So what that means is that irrespective Which carriers of those. Oh, yes, I have over 20 carriers that I'm currently Which contacting. Carriers? Um, yes, sir. So credible carriers such as Mutual of Omaha, um, Americo. Oh, um, I don't like Mutual. So, yes, sir. So oh, I do have other options oh, for oh, you. My new, my new baby's crying. Hold on. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll wait. <laughs> he hang up the call. Okay. All right, so that was um <laughs> that was an interesting call. I'm just gonna mark their address and probably do a door knock later on. Let me know in the comment section if I handle that call properly. If maybe there's something better I could have done, please let me know. But that was interesting so if maybe if you, you're not able to hear that correctly he's basically saying that his entire family has coverage for final expense um for cremation costs but when i asked him if he has any coverage in place to leave something for his family he was like nope and then he's like my my new baby is crying and he just left <laughs> and he's the same person who just told me that he has a son and a daughter and they're grown up so some of these people, they lie. <laughs> they just want to get off the phone. Okay. Moving on. You know, it's better to just laugh it off than feel frustrated. <laughs> okay. Get it together. I zoned out. You have reached. All right. I'm probably going to stop the video at some point and then later on I'll just come. If I get any appointment, I'll just let you guys know if i did um but you guys can see like for those of you who are considering a career selling life insurance don't be deceived like some of these leads are bogus but don't let that discourage you because i think that's atypical of most sales jobs or businesses so you just have to uh Prepare yourself mentally for it. Prepare yourself for objections. Know that they are part of the business, so you're not um, you're not surprised. I think one thing that's missing a lot from this business is transparency. So many people think that um, so many um, I am is it IMO? Yeah, IMOs project that oh yeah, spend a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars on leads, and you're just gonna make all this money. They seldom talk about the fact that you're gonna face a lot of objections because immediately you you say insurance over the phone most people think mm, scammer and then they just hang up so just prepare yourself mentally for those n negative aspects of the business so you can just keep going on all right let me move on to the next person
after this person, I probably would stop this video and it's just come back to you. Please check the number and dial again. Or dial. All right, I will check the number. Wait, what was the person's name? Yeah. Virginia? How? Okay. So this person, when this person filled a lead, they put in a, um, uh, my city's address. I'm in Florida, but this says Virginia on fast people search. Okay. And the date of birth doesn't even match what's on this lead um, file. So I'll just go on to the next person. Like at this point, I'm seriously not even at, because of these calls. Like I've been doing some door random door knocks um, and I'll make a separate video on that. And I'm seriously considering joining a, an IMO that offers free leads for lower commissions because I feel like I have to have more experience and have that stability as well so I might just have to like pray about it and see where God leads me because right now I'm, I'm with an IMO that I have to buy my own leads I have to do my own marketing and all that um, and combining that with a full-time job is proving very uh, challenging so I'm also considering on the other hand I'm considering the time it'll take me to for my my current carriers to release me from their contract so I go to this other IMO but the good thing is that they're not this other IMO that I'm considering they're not a captive agency I do not ever 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 want to join a captive agency We'll see. Now that there's not not to put them down or anything, it's just not suitable for me at this stage in my life. But at the same time, it's like, hey, if if I'm gonna be able to make money from this and build a career and help a lot of people, why not? So it's just different things that I'm considering. Excuse me. Hello? Hi, is this um Eula? Oh Lord, I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, my name is Akosia. I'm a local field underwriter, and I was just getting back to you regarding the request you sent in for the final expense coverage information. Um, but let me no. first... Con I'm sorry. No, I've never sent for that. I actually have your information here. Is your date of birth... Hello? Yeah, I think this just comes with the territory with with aged leads. Most of these numbers don't work after a while. Maybe they just get new phone numbers or they put in incorrect numbers, but thank God for sites like Fast People Search where you can actually cross check their information. I have like one bar left on this GoPro, so I might be stopping this video soon. Please leave your message. 
I think I've said that multiple times. Just calling the same number twice. guys so I'm gonna stop this recording this particular recording I'm just gonna get through the rest of these calls and I will I'm just I'm gonna recharge my camera um, if I'm able to get any appointments out of today I will let you know and I'll let you know how the call went so I will see you soon please do not exit out of the video I will be right back hey y'all I'm back um, so I'm down to lead number 50 i have 51 through 100 to get to but it's currently 8 54 pm so i'm gonna try calling a few tomorrow um or i'll tr i'll just try calling all the rest of them tomorrow if not i'm gonna do monday i really don't want to work on sunday but i just want to get through this list so <laughs> the rest of the calls was um very interesting so i'm gonna just go through a few of the experiences that i just had um so i had one lead here it is i wrote it down one lead was extremely rude when i called i think the wife answered and she just went off no this is the wrong number we never filled that out and she was like yelling at the top of her lungs so i'm calm i'm I'm asking for the husband um and he comes on the call i guess they were driving or whatever so they're right next to each other and he was like um nope he did not fill out the form so i asked him what i, I told him what the date of birth on the lead file is and he was like yeah but he did not fill out the form so and then he disconnected the call so i'm gonna door knock that there was another couple who were together as well so the wife answered and she filled out the request um she went off on me uh, as well she was like she thought i was a scammer so i'm trying to reassure her like no i'm a local field underwriter i'm calling her regard in regards to the information she sent me and i was trying to confirm some of the information on here to like ease her mind but she just took it another way she was so freaked out she legit thought that I was a scammer and the 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 husband came on and when when they heard that I have their information here they I, I don't know I think they thought it was the end of the world or something and I understand because with a lot of elderly people some of them have been scammed at least once in their life so they're very concerned when some a stranger just calls them and tells them that they have their information um, so my heart actually went out to them and I tried calling back to reassure them but hey I was not able to reach him so there was that um, I had another another guy whose wife had filled in a request but he answered the call um, he said that she only speaks Spanish so I was like okay well I can get a Spanish um, underwriter to stop by your area and he was trying to like um, he didn't really seem interested he spoke a little bit of, of English so like I was trying to ask him explain to him the importance of this coverage but he was just not having it and he also disconnected the call um, someone actually just called me back so I answered in a professional tone um, and this is actually on my cell phone number, but I still answered in a professional tone. Um, and he, I guess he was, um, it was his mom who had requested the information, but he said no. He, so after I confirmed the date of birth, he was a little bit more open to the call. Um, but then eventually he just hang up. So there's that. Um, 
I wasn't able to get any appointment at all. Um, I think that these are just not enough leads to get a solid appointment. And these are age leads, as I said before. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed, um, but I'm just gonna call the rest of them and then I'll make uh, some decisions. I think like I'm gonna seriously consider a different IMO that offers free leads because I'm just not at a point in my life where I can afford to be spending like two thousand dollars a week on leads as some agents are able to do so if I understand that like a different IMO that offers free leads would have lower comp levels but I want to make this work I want I I'm not in this to give up so if something's not working for me I'm just gonna figure it out I'm gonna figure something else out that's exactly how I am like I'm not someone who gives up easily I always try to find a different way to get to where I want to like I want to have a career in the insurance industry and I'm gonna make this work so I just have to pray for directions uh, from God because I really don't want to keep making mistakes with my life like I've made so so many mistakes career-wise like so many jobs that I shouldn't have gotten into it's not like anything illegal it was just a waste of my time like instead of focusing on building a business I was always focused on okay I have to pay this bill I never I was never so concerned about having a business a business but now that I have that that mindset it's like there's all these uh, challenges so I just have to ask God for direction and also do my part I'm gonna look for a different IMOs to join um, I'm also considering getting my right now I only have a life license I'm considering getting a life and health license so at least I can offer different different products yeah so that's how my first day calling final expense leads went I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to set an appointment. I wish I had better news, but the purpose of this video was just to get my feet in the water and see where it goes. Um, and also to show you guys who are considering um, uh, joining this industry to, to see how it's really, really like, especially if you're working with the kind of leads that I have. I know that other agents are able to afford like let's say direct mail leads or um, they have they have IMOs that do their marketing for them or maybe they just go off of their warm market. I just don't have those options right now. So um, yeah, so if you guys know any credible insurance companies who offer free leads for both life and health, or at least even just life right now, um, please put that in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. And preferably, I would like someone, some a company that pays hourly plus commission because like I still have bills to pay. I, I'm the only person taking care of my bills, so I need that stability as well. Um, yeah. Well, I hope you guys have a better experience than I just did. Um, but I'm definitely not going to give up. I have my whys and my whys are so important. My why is to stay in this industry even when things don't go the way that I want or the beginning is very tough. I just have to re... Uh, what's the word? What's the word when, when like your GPS takes you to the wrong place? Oh, I just have to figure out, like reconfigure where I'm is that the right word I don't know but I just have to figure something else out some way to make this work for me in my current um circumstances so yeah I will see you in the next video bye bye